Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Elite Dangerous with my good friend Dante, and we're checking out a random distress call. We're so still somewhere near Pallades, aren't we? Yeah. So this is basically Fargoid space right now. So mm. this distress call is probably Fargoid related, we're thinking. Hmm. Hmm. It's right next to this rather attractive set of double planets. That's kind of cool. I've not actually seen that before, I don't think. Hmm. That, nice. that planet looks a bit molten. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, these, these are gorgeous. I've seen ones like this before. Can I we go down to the surface Maybe. That? Like, if you had an uh, SRV, I could so. you? Okay. Uh, well, I'm not sure. If it has an atmosphere, no good, basically. Still haven't quite got that atmosphere thing going on, and no. It has just the normal exclusion zone thing, sadly. Um, but one day... One day. One day we can drive our SRVs into lava. Yep. It is a high metal content world. Uh, the distress call is right next to it, though, so... Yeah, yeah. okay. Look. Yeah, we'd have an altitude thing if we could, um, but because we just have the normal green line of death. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see any of the overlays when I'm. Oh yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get anything of the pilot stuff. Okay. Right. About ten seconds. Just a bit of a slowdown from this gravity well. Please hold on. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be dropping out of shift drive. Please ensure your seatbelts are in the upright position. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Pop up. Yeah, Ooh. these capsule ships are gorgeous, although covered in this green group again. Me thinks it's Thargoids. Yeah, I'm going to say it's probably Thargoids. Good old Imperial, completely pointless, giant hole in the middle. <laughs> it's an interesting Elegant design. Elegant lovely. Oh boy. Yep. Okay, oh, so there's a, there's a lot of dead ships here. And contacts. Your contacts? Bunch of fuel. Yep, I've got performance enhancers, military intelligence, reactive armor, a oh. whole bunch of stuff, really. I thought <laughs> you meant like details? actual ships. No, no, just a hell of a lot of interesting things um, on canisters, which I think are legal salvage, if you wanted to make off with them. A lot of battle weapons. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> right, yes. Okay, so half of this stuff, hmm. military plans, tactical data. Bunch of fuel. Oh, bunch of escape pods. Shall we go and be a hero? Oh, uh, yeah, we should definitely be a hero. We're, 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 we're always heroes. But we'll be extra heroes today by rescuing yes, some escape with the pods. Goodies. Yeah. Yes. Uh, where is the thing that I've targeted? Basically, um, they've now introduced... Ah, oh, there we go. They've introduced, uh, like, a search and rescue thing where if you find occupied escape pods, you can drop them off. Um, just randomly. It's one of the station services. Okay, collision warning. That seems like a polite uh, thing to do. Right. Uh, yeah, so, because before there's nothing really to do with them, now you can just turn them in for a small reward and presumably karma. Uh, and because we are a fully operational ship, we've got some cargo capacity. Not going to leave these people to get eaten by the Thargoids. Not on my watch. we take these people and feed them to the Thargoids. We could, but that... It does seem a little bit less heroic. I mean, yes, but... Also, well, actually, did, these did data beacons, you can normally scan them for stuff. Yeah. One second. Yeah. Where's these private data beacons? Yeah, so I've got to have been spotted eating escape pods. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I have seen surveillance footage of Maybe. people feeding people to Fargoids. For science! For science. I mean, if they wrote down the results, then yeah, that's totally science. Mm -hmm. I, want to take out, I want to take a look at one of these capital ships, because I very rarely get to see these. Oh, oh, okay. Scan the private data beacons if you can. Can you see them? Uh, hang on. Let me... On your contacts list. Yeah, let me just get to a position where I can safely be stopped. Uh, contacts list. Mm. Uh, yeah, private data beacons. Nice. Get targeting on them, get close enough to point your nose at them. I am picking up Sargoid ship signatures from them. Cool. It'll come up as your data. Hopefully it should... Yeah. Uh. Oh, hang on. I thought I'd... I've got something targeted, but it's not showing up where it is. Ah, oh, there it is. That was complicated.
Oh, where is it? Is it on this side of the ship or the other side of the ship? Yeah. And there's one I inside the ship. <laughs> Just within the 600 meters and pointing your nose at it, should be okay. Oh, yeah. got another one. Yeah, I should be yeah. close enough then. Just actually got to get in front. What do I have to do to scan something? Just target and point your nose at it. Uh, I'm not sure I can do with a fighter. Or it might be because the ah, okay. hull of the ship's in the way. I wonder if it's inside okay. the ship. Hang on. Is there a way to get inside this thing? There are kind of openings. Uh, can I fit a fighter inside here? You should probably try. I should, I should probably for. try, shouldn't I? You should. I'm just going to harvest these. I, I, oh, by harvest, ow, I mean rescue. Ow, ow. Okay, <laughs> Okay. there is an opening, <laughs> but I can't actually get in there. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's one inside the ship, but I can't seem to scan it. Okay, it's probably a multi-crew thing. Uh, well, I've got some cyborg ship signatures, so thank you. Don't know what they're used for, but they're materials, they're data, so... Methinks they'll be community goals and the like. Henceforth. Okay. Right, come on, escape pods. Let's rescue you. <laughs> uh, I'm inside the ship. Oh, good job. How? Uh, there's there's a like docking bay at the front of the on the bow. I just flew inside nice. it. Okay. Uh, I mean the in interior of the ship is remarkably undamaged. Oh god. Okay. Um, I need to turn around without hitting it. Oh god. Okay. Uh, it's a bit. It's what a bit tight. On? I can't actually turn around. I'm struggling to turn around without hitting the wings on the side of the ship. I'll bump your shields up, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> uh, you know that bit from Austin Powers where he gets like the golf buggy thing stuck in a corridor and can't turn it around? Yes. Um, this is you. This I is mean, what you're saying. This is what you've done to my fighter. Maybe. Hang on. Ow, ow, ow. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah? Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm turning, I just can't turn all the way around. There we go. Okay, I've got it. Ooh. That got a little bit claustrophobic in there for a while. Hmm. Well, good job. Oh, right. The good news is that these escape pods are being gathered up successfully. You're doing good humanitarian work there. Yeah. Ooh. One more, and then I'm done. Uh, other than picking up, like, this random pile of stuff, half the stuff is illegal, half of it isn't. So I'm just going to do the humanitarian thing. Yeah, all the private data beacons I can see are inside the ship, so... Yep. Oh. Hang on, I appear to be stuck on something now. That's not great. Yep, I can see you kind of just rubbing yourself against the wreckage of another vessel. Lovely. Um... Well, I need to work on a way of extracting myself from this wreckage. Because at the moment, I can't move. There, oh, you go. there we go. You're free. I think Hooray! Nope. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh. Okay. This this guy better be like, I don't know, Nobel Peace Prize of space winner. This last guy that I'm picking up. Nobel Peace Prize of space. I yes. Quite frankly, I nearly got myself wedged inside another ship. I mean, I don't, I don't entirely see how that was his problem, or his fault. Because I was turning around to pick him up, and he's the last one. Yeah, but he, so I mean, he hasn't asked you to do that. No, I mean, I suppose I could just leave him here to be in my Thargoids. I mean, you could just not make a big deal out of it. I mean, I could, yeah. And oh, I that's cool. Actually you actually hit, you hit a bit of wreckage, and it's actually flying off into space. Yeah, now. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Yonk. Uh, oh, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. I kind of spun wildly. It's fine. Fair enough. Okay, so your next challenge, I'm going to be flying with flight assist off, and you're going to dock. Sure, that sounds like fun. Go for it! Right, okay, I've seen everything I need to here. There are a lot of dead ships here. Yep. Like... 16 cutters, that's like, um, I don't know, so we're probably approaching a billion credits. Plus the uh, capital ship. Damn. Uh, 
I am trying to hold steady. What? Okay, yeah, just... <laughs> that is not holding steady. That is, that is, that is not, that is the opposite of holding steady. I'm trying to hold steady, it does a 180 flip. Yep. Perfect. There we go. Okay, I got it, I got it. I'm okay. drifting. You're drifting backwards, I think, for sure. Uh, no. I can't, I'm trying to work out which direction I'm flying in, I'm using the magical space dust. Okay. Particles. I mean, this is like okay. trying to... Uh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna watch you spin around in space for the minute, and then a try docking. Have you tried? to bring the thing back level after you've been used to having flight assist on. No, no I haven't, it's but then hard. I've never volunteered to do this and then, you know, told someone else to do something. Yeah, I know, okay, okay. Get in there, get in there. I've got it down to, I oh know, I thought I had it down to one axis. I mean, you're going to see on the recording how close I'm getting and then you're just jerking away. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm not thrusting at all. I'm literally just trying to orient this thing. I'm moving at a speed of 155 and I'm not even closing with you. No, I'm moving at 157. Yeah, I know. I'm speeding up because I'm trying to catch up with you, but you're all over the place. Okay. Oh, okay, God. Okay. This fine, is... Fine. Uh... No, no, maybe I can no, do it. I'm, 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 I'm so close. I'm so close. You got this? All right. All oh. right. Okay, hang on. Okay, you know that bit in Apollo 13 where they're trying to manually navigate by the Earth yep. in the window? Yep. It's, yep. it's it's yep. like that. It's like... Here we go, here we go. I'm almost steady. Go. Fucking go. This... Ah, I can't hold it much longer. I'm, I'm in the track. I'm in the track. I'm in the track. And then and then I'm not. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you got this. You got this. I, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm, want to thrust if... in case I... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, no, I don't think this is going to happen. Uh, no, okay. I'm, I'm breaking <laughs> off. Back on. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was sweaty. You were just like bouncing everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not a very good flight assist off pilot. Right, I am stationary, flight assisted on, and uh, should be approaching motionlessness. No, yeah. It was it was kind of interesting. That was kind of fun, I have to say, because you got a very. Oh, God, I'm way too fast. Um, you got a very interesting. Ooh, okay, no, I just bounced off you entirely. Um. You got kind of a very interesting thing where you're trying to, you know, you're not doing anything to account for the maneuvers you're seeing. Yeah, but yeah. What you're seeing is relative motion. To yeah, yeah, the relative motion really, really yeah, yeah, difficult yeah. to uh, kind of get your head around what you're seeing. Yeah. Just okay, get on board. And where are we going next? You said something about a ground base. Yes, I believe there are ground bases around. I just, I'm not sure where. I, it won't actually let right, me well. dock because I'm hitting your shield, which is weird. Alright, let's try that right. again. There we go, okay. Yeah, I'm getting proximity alarms while it's doing the auto docking maneuver, that's how close you get. Mm -hmm. like I'm not even flying the ship and you're still giving me a proximity alarm. Okay, right. While I fly around and get us moving again. Okay, um, uh, there, okay, Pallades Sector. O I T C three dash seven. Uh huh. Yep. Give me the last bits again. Uh, C three dash seven. C three dash seven. No, I need more than that. Okay, Palladi sector. Yep. Uh, O I dash T. O I dash T. Space C three. Uh, yep. Uh, o I yeah cool. O I dash T. Yep. C three dash seven. Gotcha. It is a couple of jumps out. Okay. Um, and then planet A six. There is a structure on the surface. I don't know if we can get the ship down there without an SRV though. Oh, we can get down there. You'll just have to do the low level flying thing, and I won't be able to land it. Or I mean, I can land it, but I can't do anything with it. Um, so you'll just have to do a low level bombing run. Sure. That sounds like fun. Exactly. Yeah, there is a huge, huge body of people constantly researching cracking, and I mean, they literally found some of the early scout ships that were crashed by quite literally combing planets. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I like it. Like people getting 
interested in the game that much that they're you know yeah. um, committing that kind of time to it. It's really nice. I mean, it's not something I've ever done. I'm just I don't think I'm smart enough to sit down and try and figure stuff like that out or have the patience to scour an entire planet's surface. But I, I, I like know. it. I like the idea of people doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Collaborative uh, crowdsourcing of uh, problem-solving stuff. Right, we're two jumps out. Okay. Uh, I Six will... planet, you said. Uh, yeah, A6. And then I've got coordinates okay. for the surface, so... Cool. Oh, God. Okay, so this is the planet we think we could find an alien base on. And Adante thinks he can land on it, so... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, you're the point, man. Uh, what are the coordinates we're looking for? Uh, negative 42.77 by negative 21.7. We are on exactly the wrong side of the planet. Amazing. Hold on everyone. Right, so give me that again. Negative what by negative what? Negative 42.77 by okay, negative 21.7. Yeah, write this down or something. Why, why is there uh, no space notepad in the ship? Where's my... Where's my word? Yeah, uh, hang on. We're just going to go around the planet. That'll be quicker. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, let's not fly over the surface of the entire planet. Let's just do a quick... Nope. Okay, we're at negative... Do you get the, uh, the coordinates? No, thing? I've got nothing. Okay, we're at negative 150. That's right, we're at, neg we're at zero. Negative 150. So I think we're heading in the right direction. Uh, okay. Right, negative 40 was what you said, right? Negative 42 by negative 21. Okay, we were at negative 42. So let me just slow it down a bit. So I can work out where we need to be. Please hold. Please hold. While I navigate. You never stop and ask for directions. I don't. Okay, that looks interesting. I don't think either of us have ever seen, like, War Weird. of the Worlds Martian stuff. Took the words right out of my mouth, yeah. Uh, we are at about negative 38, negative 17, so I suspect ahead is where we need to go. I mean, we're in the right hemisphere, so that's something. <laughs> Interesting. It looks I mean, like looking Martian for likely candidates. Yeah, here we go. I think I see pop-up terrain and textures and stuff. Also craters. Craters are usually a good sign. Yeah. Right, we are... Oh! Okay, we are in glide mode. Wait for it. Yeah, there we go. Falling like a brick. Okay, well, I mean, it's only the internet watching, so just, you know, fly casual. Uh, okay. Just fly cool. Yeah. Negative 40, negative 21. What do I need? For, uh, negative 42 by negative 21. I mean, we, we've got to be close here. Can I get back into, Where? Can I get into the gun turret here? I want to look around outside. You can get into a fighter if you want. Yeah, I'll just, oh no, it's okay. I just wanted the first person camera. Okay. So, okay, it's, you know, so right. we've got two pairs of eyes looking around, otherwise my view's a bit limited. Yep. Give us a sec. Okay, so negative forty two by negative forty two point seven seven. Okay. And then negative twenty one point seven. So you want a point seven after both of those. I mean I don't know how big what we're looking for is. Ooh, I can see our shadow. That's cool. Hmm. I think it's probably on the other side of this crater. This is a big crater. What's our speed currently? Sorry? How fast are we going? Because this is a big crater. Uh, about 300 meters a second. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh. Mm, I think we've got a little bit further to go. I might just top up into a quick frame ship just to save us thrusting forever. Yeah. But we are very close, but unfortunately not quite close enough. Come on. I mean, when you start doing this, the ship prefers to just go straight up, so... Yeah. yeah. Just keep it slow, keep it casual. Don't overshoot. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, okay. We appear to have been slightly turned around in that, and now we're going 
<sighs> the wrong okay. way. No, no, we're back on track. This is where we find out it's actually not in this version of the game. They've moved the base and we're yeah. just... Yeah, of course. Yeah. Although, I don't know, that red surface structure looks different. It definitely stands out from the planet's surface. Uh. So, once more, and I'm sorry for the people at home that have been writing this down. Negative 42. Point seven seven. Point seven. Point yeah. Negative 21.7. Yeah. We should be pretty much... Uh, I thought we were on top of it, but... Oh, blacking out. Hang on. God damn it, this thing just doesn't want to be found. We are... Well, we're, we're very close to the two creatures we were, you know, next to before. I, know. I feel like maybe it's on the edge of one of them, maybe? It's weird how tiny things can't always be seen from space. Indeed. Okay, Dante. Do you just want to confirm for me again how guarantee how sure you are that we're on the right uh, approach this time? Oh. No, no. Look straight down. What do you see? Uh, I see green stuff. Yeah, green stuff. How on earth did people find this? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so we've been paused for about ten minutes while we've moved incrementally around the planet trying to get closer to these coordinates. Um, Right. At the moment, we do not appear to be falling out of the sky. It's only a 0.3G planet. So, now's the time for you to hop out and have a look around, I think. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have an SRV, so we are going to have to do this with a fighter. But we, we've had pretty good luck with the fighters today, so... Yeah. It's possible that these are just barnacles. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what kind of base this is. I just... I just heard there was a base here, and we were nearby, so... Well, there isn't a base, but there are barnacles. Yeah, sorry. This, oh. I guess, are the barnacles not a base? I don't really know. No, barnacles are just barnacles. They are... If you shoot them, metal alloys come out. Well, it seems to be a little different from normal, though. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff okay. around them. Indeed. Right. Thing number one, shoot them. Hang on, let's, let's take a look around first. Let's not just blast stuff willy-nilly. So I'm kind of waiting for, like, Fargoid ships to just extend out of the sky on us or something. This is kind of creepy. Like, just flying am amongst them. <laughs> Whoa, what the? <laughs> That's the floor. Yeah. I'm a bit lower than I thought I was, but it's fine. This is most aggravating. It seems like I can't fire anything. <laughs> Are you trying to shoot me or something? <laughs> no, not you. The sort of the, the barnacles. Why won't it let me fire? Uh, okay. You're not even on board. Uh, I mean, I'm, I shouldn't be the gunner because I'm a pilot, so... Outrageous. Okay, tell you what, I'll, shoot them. I'll shoot them for you. Don't worry. Yay! Just nervously checking the skies before I do this. You're fine. I mean... Anything? Nope. They meant to spit up delicious matter alloy goodness, which was selling for a huge amount of money. Back in the day, and it's the only known way to fix. Oh, actually, no. I you, something did just fall off one of them. Oh, I got nothing on my contact list. Shoot it again. I'm, I'm going to get close to this one because this one seemed to react more. Okay. Oh, oh, I can break the little spot. Okay, I can. I can break the little things around it, and I've made some. Oh, I got some iron. Do you want some iron? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, but no. Why don't my guns work? It's quite alarming. It's a little alarming. Okay, there's a... Uh, I don't know. There's stuff breaking off them, but... I don't know. I need to put more power into weapons. How do I transfer power 
How do I transfer pips? Uh, pips are arrow keys. Oh yeah. I, I play this game regularly, I know the controls. Yeah. Can you see the stuff I'm breaking? I can. The little things, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Are you sure just a beam laser is meant to be able to do this? I don't know. Oh, okay. You just know that they do occasionally give out stuff. Yep. Yeah. Or maybe it's an SRV thing, but you could always take the other fighter out. Just gonna stand nose on and see if my thrusters can handle it. Seems like it. Yeah, cool. You can pretty much get these things on their nose. Hang on. Oh, it's getting a little wobbly. And I'm falling out the sky. Well, back it up, back it up. Don't do that. I'm trying not to, but look. Oh, hang on. I got something. I got something. You got something? Uh, mining fragment, metal alloys, legal salvage. Oh, cool. Grab it. I can't. Oh, I, oh, I can't get it. Can yeah, it? I'm on a fighter. I don't know how I'm going to get it. Do I even have a cargo scoop? No, I no. Don't. God, no, metal alloys. Grr. Cool. Okay. Well, they still work at least, and I can't even see them. Yeah, it's I not actually from the. Matter alloys. Okay, it's not actually from the barnacles themselves. Uh, oh God, you just. It's from the. It's from the spikes uh, around them. So there's little okay. kind of things growing on them. There's like little seed pods. That's what you're actually looking for. Yeah, yeah. So, ah. Yeah. Oh, actually, the yeah. There's, you know. there's tons of them around here. Okay. I still don't understand why I can't fire these guns. <laughs> Most aggravating. <laughs> you just sound really annoyed about it. Just a rain fire from the sky. I'm sorry. This is some weird tell me witchcraft thing that you've got going on. I, I, I swear I haven't broken your guns. Hmm. Can I, like, make you not? I mean, I shouldn't be in the uh -huh. gunner position, because I'm not in the ship. So, let me let me dock and make sure I'm... Uh, if I dock up, I can set myself to an unassigned position. So, if I am, for some reason, okay. still assigned. Alright, go for it. Yeah. Uh, do you want to, like, level off or something? Because... Yeah. Thrusters much prefer to be level. I can just sit here if it's level. Yeah. I mean, I could just switch back to the ship, technically. I don't actually have to dock the fighter, but... No, 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 that, that wrecks the fighter. Oh, does it? Okay, I thought it might just go into local control or something, and then... Nah. Uh, I, because I didn't bring my crew member, because we were shooting Thargoids, and I didn't want to lose my preciously trained up uh, crew member. Fair enough. Oh, that was perfect, that time. Perfect. <laughs> In there like a glove. <laughs> right, get yourself out of helm roll. Uh, if you're wearing it. Yeah, I'm. I'm in the idle position, so. You're in the what? I'm in the idle position. I'm not assuming any particular role right now. All right. Well, let's see what happens when I open my guns. Fire groups. Fire groups selected and. Nope. You've literally got control of my guns. I'm, I'm, okay. I'll um, I'll enter the gunner roll and see what I can do. Okay. Okay. I have control of the guns and. Ah! <laughs> what? What were you? Okay. They're set to right mouse button. Were you pressing right yep. mouse button? Oh, okay. I was indeed. That's weird, because if I'm not in a position, why well, would I have access to your guns? I mean, Shrug. I've been piloting a fighter before and you've been able to fight your, fire your guns, so that's weird. Yep. Oh, you see, I can fire my multi-cannon now. Oh, okay. Well, what are you complaining about? Now you can rain death from the skies. Can you break one of those oh. apart? Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they blew up pretty well, actually. Yeah, oh, they look different when they blow up from here. I didn't get the little, like, uh, electrical sparks when I was firing from the fighter. No. Oh, nice. 
I'm sure we're doing irreparable damage. We're, we're engaging the Fargoid Menace by shooting Indeed. some barnacles on a planet. Quick reminder that, as yet, we're not quite sure what barnacles are. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Uh, it seems like there is no base, but there are barnacles. And actually, given that I've never actually seen barnacles before, I've seen plenty of screenshots, but I've never actually bothered to hunt one out. That's quite cool. Yeah, that's oh. pretty awesome. Oh, 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 uh, oh, we're getting a bit low here. Yep, that's fine. Got that's control. fine. That's all fine. Okay, well, I think that was, you know, we saw something new, we saw something interesting. We, we shot strange alien things, and we investigated a wreck and rescued some pilots, so... We've, 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 guys back to base. Yeah, yeah, we've been good that's, today. That's enough good deeds for one day. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to take a break here, I think. So thank you guys okay. for watching. Uh, do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this as always. And uh, yeah, this is a bye from me. And goodbye from me. See you later, guys. Bye.